What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak every generation of the iPhone and iPod Touch on Windows. The Mac video will come very soon, as soon as the program is released. We're going to be using Black Rain in this video. Um, a lot of people have been having some problems and people have been saying it's buggy. So we're going to have to go over a few things like normal before we get started. I'm going to have to explain some things and you've really, really, really got to listen close because I don't want you guys messing anything up. Uh, and complaining to me that you that I messed up your iPod when you're the one who's doing it and you didn't listen to my directions. So listen closely. I'll go over everything, tell you everything you need to do. If anything does go wrong, I'll tell you what you do. So this is for the 3.1.2 firmware, the newest firmware that's released. Nothing really new in the firmware, but Apple releases and bug fixes. Um, and I'm pretty sure this does work with 3.0 and 3.1. But I would recommend using some of the older, more stable programs if you're on 3.0 or 3.1. This video is only going to cover 3.1.2. The only device there is a little catch with is the iPod Touch 3G, which is the very, very newest iPod, which really isn't much different from the second generation. Alright, I've said this in my last few videos, but how do you know if you have a third generation iPod Touch? If you bought your iPod Touch after September 9th and it says 32 gigabyte or 64 gigabyte then it is a third generation so here's the catch with it it is a tethered jailbreak if you guys don't know what that is that means once you jailbreak it if you want to reboot your phone which means turn it on or off to turn it back on you're gonna have to plug it up to your computer you're gonna have to run this program again it does, it's not hard all you have to do is open the program and click a button but if you want to reboot your iPod or turn it off or turn it back on or if the battery dies or anything like that you're gonna have to plug it up to your computer to get it working again but it's really really easy really you just plug it up to your computer and you hit a button so let's talk about a few of the issues you guys are probably going to be having um, a lot of people have been saying once they're doing it it will get stuck in uh, DFU mode or recovery mode and it will just keep spinning the wheel on it will keep spinning and won't do anything here's what you need to do if that happens if it's stuck in a black screen it's not doing anything any any problem this will solve it right here hold the home and power button at the same time for about 20 seconds your phone will reboot and start over it may go back into DFU mode it go back into may go back into recovery mode if it does if it doesn't try the program again whatever it goes into DFU mode recovery mode try the program again if it doesn't work again you can try restoring in iTunes and then you can try the program again but I do recommend if anything goes wrong holding the home and power button for 20 seconds let it reboot and that'll get you out of any of the problems you're having. Now before we start going through the actual jailbreak guide and you start jailbreaking, here's what I'm recommending you do. Never, if you're going to update to a new firmware and jailbreak, never, never, never update to the firmware if your iPod is already jailbroken. Never. Always go into iTunes, download the firmware, cancel it before it starts restoring or whatever, just download the firmware, and then hit hold the shift or option key depending on if you're on Mac or PC even though this guy is only for Windows hold the shift button sorry I kicked my camera hold the shift button and click the restore button then you're going to select the firmware that you're wanting to update to this will, what this is going to do is restore you to the new firmware so you'll have a factory restored it'll be basically like you just bought your iPod it'll be brand new everything clean out of it the reason we do that is because it leaves a lot of stuff in there if you upgrade from a jailbroken device that you don't need but before you do that, make sure you sync all of your data and everything you want to keep out of your iPod up to iTunes so you can sync it back after we're done with this whole process. <sighs> That's it. Now let's get started. Alright, so here's what you're going to have to do. Go ahead and download Black Rain. I'll have a link to it in the description or in the video, the show notes, the sidebar, whatever you're going to call it. It's to the right of the video. So download Black Rain, and you will have blackrain.exe. Okay, what you're going to need to do is go ahead and open the Black Rain program. Sorry I have so much stuff on my desktop. Um, if we are in Vista, here's what I'm going to recommend you do. You don't have to do this, but I'm recommending you do it because it will probably help a lot of people and it's not going to affect anybody. So right-click the program, right-click the blackrain.exe, and hit Run as Administrator. I will zoom in on that and show you what it looks like. Run as Administrator. There you go. Boom. Okay, and if you get this, just hit Allow. It's safe. Trust me. Alright, Black Rain is now open. See, this is basically the program. It's just one little button. Alright, now I'm going to be using my iPod Touch second generation. Yes, the screen is cracked. You can use any, 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 any device with this. It works just the same with any device. Uh, I have heard problems that the iPhone 3G is the only one that has been giving people serious problems where it hasn't been working, stuff like that. So, if anything goes wrong in this process, 
try it multiple times because uh, it probably will, you may have a few bugs, but uh, he said just keep at it and it should work. So here's what we gotta do. Go ahead and plug your device up. All right, and if iTunes opens up, go ahead and close it. I know iTunes is going to open up on mine. All right, now here's what we gotta do. All we gotta do is go on to Black Rain, and we're gonna click Make It Rain, and watch what's gonna happen. It says Entering Recovery Mode. Okay, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. Okay, we are in Recovery Mode. That says Running. Okay, it doesn't matter if iTunes pops up, and there you go. You are jailbroke. Um, all right, we're closing iTunes. You don't have to, uh, but we're just gonna wait until this is done. Uh, this is where the part where a lot of people have problems, where it will keep the wheel will keep spinning and it'll take forever and it won't do anything. If it if anything goes wrong, just hold the home and power button uh, for 10 seconds and let it reboot, and it should be fine. Uh, and then you can try this again or restore on iTunes. So here we go. My iPod is rebooting now. All right, Apple logo. All right, it's taking a little bit to reboot. Just be patient. It should work. All right, there we go, and iTunes popped up. It's okay that iTunes popped up now. So there we go. Um, you will not have Cydia on your device yet. Sorry, my camera's zooming out. You will not have Cydia on your device yet. I've already jailbroken this one, so that's why I have Cydia. Here's what you're gonna have to do. Open up Black Rain, okay? And I've had tips on, on uh, Twitter that say do not do this. Uh, do not install Cydia or Rock or IC all at once. Only install them one at a time, one at a time. I recommend don't even installing IC or Rock. I recommend just installing Cydia. So select Cydia, just click on it, you should see the green arrow, and then hit install. Sorry that the screen is all cracked. Uh, so let it download that. You will need to be connected to wireless internet. Uh, and I have had tips that say do not try this over AT&T's internet connection. You must be connected to Wi-Fi, but I don't know about that. Go ahead and... Try it if you'd like to. So be connected to Wi-Fi before you do that. Mine was already set up. Be connected to Wi-Fi. All right, it is respringing now. Just give it a minute. All right, there we go. Slide to unlock, and now we have Cydia. What you can do is open it up and uh, do your updates and let it respring and all that. And you will have a jailbroken iPhone or iPod Touch. So that's basically the guide, guys. Um, once you're done, if you'd like to, you can remove Black Rain uh, by doing this. Sorry, my camera keeps focusing out. Hit uninstall Black Rain and then delete. So that's about it. You are now jailbroke. If you had any problems with that, uh, let me know in the comments. I'll try to do as best as I can. Make sure you read the notes in the description because I know I'm going to have to put some stuff in there. I always do that in my jailbreak videos, like if something's going wrong or I need to note something that people need to do, make sure you read the description before you go along with any anything in this video. Now if you have the iPod Touch 3G uh, and you're already jailbroke, if you're wanting to turn, like if you turn off your iPod and then you're wanting to turn it back on, do the exact same process we just did, except you don't have to do none of the restoring or anything like that. Just plug your iPod up to the computer and run the program. So thanks for watching guys, hopefully this video helped you out. If it did, Please don't forget to rate this video five stars and favorite and leave me a comment below saying thanks or whatever you'd like to say. I really appreciate that. It really, really helps me out. Uh, so thanks for watching, guys. Check out TiesIphoneHub.com. Follow me on Twitter, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace, son.